Greetings everyone, this is Begin Bata. In this video, I'm going to show you how to manage your desktop. Now, first of all, if you want to go to your desktop from any app, you need to do a combination as follows. You hold down this button here, the start button and quickly punch D without releasing the start button. Let's try that on our keyboard start d that's what happens it takes you straight to your desktop now we are going to try and manage this desktop as you can see i can already see a lot of clutter here so i'm going to right click here to create a folder now i want to create a new folder so that i can organize reorganize my files right click on the active desktop point to new and click on folder there's another way of doing this let me just delete this one quickly to delete this folder i would right click and delete it's deleted now i have another way i can do this hold down ctrl on your keyboard hold down shift without releasing ctrl and then punch n this will create a new folder as you can see there now let's give it a name okay i'm going to say my let's make it capital letters my files all right or oh, let's say my videos because i'm going to reorganize videos after that click outside and then click once again so that it's deselected and then on your pc or keyboard hold down ctrl and then i want to reorganize this video so i'm going to click on this one and that one and this one here and this one and that and that and this after that release ctrl click and hold on one of them and then drag 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 to the folder and drop can you see that the videos have now been moved to this folder if you double click on the folder there you are the videos are listed there and you close that is how you move uh, files from the desktop i could also take this folder and put it inside this folder drag and drop works as easy as that what if i wanted to restore the file that i deleted okay let's delete this one as well i want to delete a file right click delete it's deleted when it's deleted it gets to this bin here the recycle bin it gets to the recycling bin as you can see here so let's go and retrieve this file double click on the recycle bin the file that we deleted is this one desktop so to return it to the desktop just right click on it and click on restore you will see it disappearing here it says i sure you want to move this system file if you move this file windows or another program may no longer work correctly blah 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 don't worry about that click on yes the file will disappear here once it disappears here it means it has been moved back to the desktop let's close here and there is our file over there okay another thing we can do on the desktop is hide these icons let's say you had a very beautiful picture uh, on the desktop and you didn't want it to be obscured by the clutter here you simply right click on the desktop and then go to view and then where it says show desktop icons you click there and they are all gone to return them is easy you simply right click again on the desktop point to view and then you go down to show desktop icons and you click all your desktop icons will be back another thing you would want to do while you are still on the desktop is to 
customize it, you know, put another touch to it. Maybe you are not happy with this uh, background here. So I want to put your own. Let's quickly right click. Right click here and you go down to personalize. Click on personalize and wait. Now, as you can see, I have a picture of mine there and a couple of other themes I can actually uh, use here. So let's use this one here. When I click on that, it says background picture. If you browse, it means you are looking for another file. And of course, the, there might be another file on the desktop. There's a picture there. Uh, it's not showing a preview. If you choose it, it's another picture of mine. This one here. So I can decide here how I want it uh, displayed on the desktop. If I want to tile it, I'm already shown a preview there. So it's not going to show very well. So I can always choose another format. I have chosen fit and this is how it's going to be displayed. If I want to choose another one, I could say centered and that is not going to display very well. Okay. So because of the size of the picture, let's, let's look at span. Oh, span is better, but it still has a cut there. So I guess I'll settle for, um, center. Oh, no, no, not center. Let's choose, uh, we said tile doesn't work. Let's choose fit. That's it. So scroll down here a little bit until you see other things. You could choose a color instead of a, a background. But this time we have chosen a, a picture. So just go back and check, close this. There's the picture already customized. To revert to what was here, I just right click again and personalize and then click on another theme and close here. If you are using Windows 8, you might want to save changes. You'll find that there's a, a save option at the bottom. Close, then you have another theme chosen. Now, sometimes you are using your laptop where you have no power source and you wish to save power, you could just go to the bottom here, at the bottom there, and click once. And then can you see where it says battery settings? It first gives you how much battery life you still have, 43%. Power mode on, battery performance. Okay, we are still fine there. Battery settings, we click to optimize now the power settings. Okay, power and sleep settings. First of all, let's check down here. Let me just scroll down to see battery saver status until next charge. It's off. Okay, when we click it, yeah, now. It's on. Okay? Means it's saving power. 